Welcome to another video and another episode of Matic Vlogs where today I'm going to be taking it to the next level and by that I mean probably the opposite scale of the last vlog that I did in terms of anything food related so yeah today I am going to live a full day in the life of a Premier League footballer No, only joking, little joke. I know Premier League footballers all play a lot of PlayStation, Xbox, whatever console it is at the moment that's trending, I don't know, I don't care. That's not what I am gonna be doing today. It's not that part of a footballer's day I am gonna be doing. And to be honest, I'm probably not gonna be driving around the lavish 4x4, Ferrari, Lamborghini, whatever it is that these players are driving these days either. My day is gonna be solely based on the training side, diet side of things just to see exactly how it affects me if it makes any difference to my day I'm gonna weigh myself very shortly see where we're at, at the start of the day and then we'll see where we're at the following day in terms of how much that has affected what I would normally consume in a day and what my normal day would be compared so yeah we're gonna get into it there is a certain players certain Premier League players uh, diet that I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to mention names for obvious reasons. You probably do a bit of research yourself. You figure it out just after what I'm actually doing in the day and what I'm actually consuming food-wise. So yeah, it is very particular. It is precise. It's going to be to the gram, and it's going to be very interesting. So yeah, pick up your points. And for all you macronutrient lovers out there, I will track it. I will calorie it. I will tell you exactly what is in everything as we go along through the day so let's on that note get into the first part of the day let's go and weigh in let's see what I'm at this morning before I start consuming anything and then we will take it from there and move through each stage of the day let's get into it people okay first things first let's check a ballpark figure on the old weight not much should change in the day, so let's just see whereabouts we are at. All twos. I won't expect weight to change that much. Okay, now that that's all done and dusted out of the way, it's time to get into the first meal of the day and a breakfast shake. Doesn't sound fantastic, does it? But it's what's in it, I suppose, and what a player would need to carry on and probably go to training next. So this is quite an important one, to be honest. The nutrients in this are probably the most single important ones of the day. So let's get downstairs and let's get making breakfast. Looks nice, doesn't it? A little bit more, well, I don't know, more-ish, you could say. Actually, I forgot the protein. Truth. 
Wow, it's actually... <clears throat> <laughs> it's thick. It's thick. He's laughing at me in the other room. It is. It's going to take some down in that. You can to look at. It doesn't look like there's much of a breakfast because it's not all solid. But when you're trying to drink it, oh good god! It feels like a three-course meal in one cup. It tastes all right. I've got a feeling it's going to leave one of them horrible sticking tastes at the back of your mouth later on though, but yeah, so meal one of the day and calories and macros for that are up on the screen now. That is tasty but thick. I don't know <laughs> which other way to describe it, but it's not the worst thing in the world, I'll say that. It does, it does taste like... It tastes like you're drinking healthier. That's what it is. That's what I will say. But yeah, it's going to take some serious down in that. So I have to leave that one with me. I'm going to have to just try and get that down before we set off on the school run and to work. And then I'll catch you guys. I probably uh, we'll go school run. Then we'll do the workout because I think that's what's probably important straight after this one. If I can't train after drinking this then I have no chance but yeah I'll catch you in the uh, shed, the garage, the gym, whatever you want to call it. Catch you in a second. Yeah so obviously I haven't got a state-of-the-art training complex. I haven't got fields and fields to run in, do training drills and all that, or PT or coach, whatever you want to call it beside me, telling me exactly what to do. So I'm basing this around an average Premier League footballer's training day, works out around just about, about two hours, two hours-ish. Obviously there's a lot more cardio involved than what I am normally used to, so that's probably going to kick ass a little bit. I have got cardio equipment, we'll get into that in a minute, but first of all I'm just going to do my normal training session, my weights, and then obviously you can call it like your strength and conditioning sort of side that Premier League footballers still do do so I will do that and we'll get into some form of cardio as well see where that is I'm not a massive cardio fan so this is going to kick ass for me to be honest but this is what it is this is the challenge for the day and let's see where we're at from there and we'll probably find out exactly how many sort of cal calories the workout really burns off as well so it's going to be interesting it's going to be different for me I know that but yeah, this is probably moving into the realms of figuring out if what a footballer consumes is solely based on a training day. If it changes for a match day, I'm guessing that diet does change for a match day. It doesn't actually stay pre-match meal. We can all sort of guess around what it would be. It would be very carb-based sort of energy food. A couple of hours before a match is normally, that's probably what I would normally try and eat before I train and an hour and a half, two hours before uh, it's going to be mainly carb based so yeah we'll see I've had a few carbs now I've eaten so let's see exactly how that moves into my sort of training day and if it feels or feels me with any more energy than I usually am I mean I'm pretty good with my diet and that so the diet side of it should be decent enough and easy for me to maintain but we'll see, we'll see if it's any different it's the cardio that I'm going to be interested in Okay, so that's the weights done for oh, conditioning strength wise. I'm guessing all players still do that. Now it comes to the cardio side of it. Well, I've got a CrossFit bike, which is something I don't use too much. Well, to be honest, would you if you needed to? I've not really had to, and it's absolutely brutal. I mean, 
you get off one of these things and you've got no legs left. That's what it feels like. So, yeah, I'm going to set this at a certain target. Try and get a few miles in on it, see where we're at. And then you may have to you may have to come back to me after I've set this one. But uh, I'm just going to set it off now at what we're doing. I don't know what I'm going to do, but we'll set it at that. Let's see how we get on. Come back to me shortly. God, man, I know I hate that. Oh, oh God. Not use the cardio. Jesus, man. Oh, God. Okay, three miles-ish. Uh, that's that. And, oh, God. Not, not easy. Not for me, anyway. Doesn't do loads of cardio apart from apart from the leading obvious in walking around and the normal weights that I do oh god okay in terms of in terms of how much a Premier League footballer would do in a training session in terms of the sort of stamina fitness side of things it's going to be quite big obviously a lot more than what I've done here today but right now it feels like I've been sat on an horse for about two hours. My groin, he's absolutely throbbing from that bike seat. I just don't do bikes, cardio, or anything like that. It's like a shock to the system. But yeah, that's the workout done. Back inside now to the next bit of nutrition. And I would probably think now, from what I can remember, some form of recovery, sort of food or snack, somewhere along them lines. Jesus, man. Oh. Okay, yep. As suspected, full on recovery drink, protein shake, or carb additive, anything they put into these shakes just to have as a snack straight after training is the next protocol for all the Premier League footballers just to help repair muscle on whatever training exertions have just happened on the training ground shake time and then probably sit down for a minute hopefully okay guys we've made it to the middle of the day it's lunchtime we're in work now training's done breakfast done all that is out of the way now so it's sort of like a maintenance uh, sort of phase really just to make sure you've got the right stuff I would probably do the same as what the Premier League players are doing right now I'd probably hit most of my carbs at the middle of the day uh, just so you, you can utilize them better basically that's pretty much what it is you can use them better and with most of your day still to go with it being just after 12 o'clock now you can you've got the energy to smash through the rest of your afternoon so it would be <coughs> i mean mine is just absolutely boring rice from a carb then i've got lean mince uh chili sauce but with loads of veg mixed in with it beans as well good on protein as well kidney beans in there stuff like that is massively important and really we're hitting all the right nutrients here you can see exactly how a Premier League football works why they manage to keep physique and their energy levels stamina and so on and so forth because everything that I'm eating today it just gives you that little bit of a it, it makes you feel good inside in a weird way I don't know if that makes sense but it feels like you're eating the right stuff it sort of plays straight away onto your mind you're, you're already automatically thinking that you've got more energy than what you really need and it just helps it feels like you can just get on with things it feels like your brain switched on it's weird to be honest but i'm doing that much today i'm editing while working while doing two jobs while training this morning kids this i've already done so much in the day it's only halfway through and i'm guessing to do that you need all the right stuff inside so for a premier league footballer 
what football training there's not much else to really get their heads around but then a lot of footballers go off do the promotional work sponsorship stuff do the stuff that they're uh, obliged to do for the football club as well like uh, well, obviously not now because of lockdown and social distancing but normally you would be like going out on visits representing the club and doing something like that and like i said then they've got their all their endorsements on their own little side businesses and ventures on top of that so yeah the diet is massively important but this is meal number you could say three if you include the snacks but yeah so far taste wise pretty decent it's not bland make sure you get all the right ingredients and just add in the right things here and there you can get it through the day without really needing to indulge in much crap to be honest but probably let's be honest most of us still do anyway well you've seen i do but this is a total change but still it is nice and you can see that proper nutrition really do go to town on the vitamins the supplements everything that's needed for the body and what a premier league football especially around before and after training match days because let's not forget all this is building up to put your body into a state ready for a full-on 90 minute match a weekend or midweek as well so this is vital to continue this through the week and actually make sure the body is not recovering from a poor day or lack of something in one day it's routine and has to keep on going so you can see where that kicks in but for now i'm going to enjoy the rest of this then we're going to move on to the rest of the day get into the late afternoon stuff and i'll catch you there see you a bit peeps all right and welcome back afternoon time we are what now just gone over five o'clock now uh time for our afternoon snack in between lunch and dinner you could say or uh, if you're a northerner from england dinner and tea whichever way you want to call it but yeah this one is simply again just another protein shake so another 50 gram of whey protein i forgot to add the post-workout protein shake the snack from earlier on to the total as well so the calories and macros for both protein snacks are up on the screen now as well guys so that's what they count at i will put a grand total right at the end of everything consumed today but if you are paying attention you will notice one certain thing on the actual macros and the calories in every single meal i'll see if you pick up on that towards the end see if you agree because i'll bring that up right at the end when that full total comes up so let's see if you have been paying attention to that but yeah this is the what meal now so breakfast snack lunch so this is probably the fourth meal of the day uh, these things pack just over 200 calories as you can see on the screen a second ago pure protein really no fats no carbs this is all about muscle repair if you look into anything protein based it is consumed to repair muscles and help the body recover that is the main ingredient to all of that and what probably that with the carbs is what a lot of premier league footballers will consume the most of as well as the supplement and vitamin side of things as well which the sports scientists and nutritionists at these top end football clubs will tell them and give them so yeah this is meal number i said it before didn't I? meal number four of the day protein snack uh, protein shake simple but massively effective in this sort of game so yeah i'm just preparing the tea for us mancunians english northerners dinner for all you people watching from all over the world wherever you're watching from but yeah it's a uh, it is another carb and protein based uh, meal you could say plenty of veg uh, clean carb and lots and lots of protein again so yeah common trend going through and that should be ready quite soon as well so i will net this and then i'll catch you at the dinner table Ah, uh, and yes, what do you call it? Dinner, tea. See, it's tea. It's tea in Manchester. It's tea in Northern England. Dinner for a lot of people all over the world. So you call it whatever it is. It is officially meal number five of the day. And this, again, like I said, carb and protein based uh, chicken breast mixed vegetables and carrot and swede mash which is a good alternate to normal mash it tastes better as well doesn't it yeah it does it does and why do we have gravy instead of sauce 
Because it's a tree. <laughs> I don't know. He's tired because gravy has next to zero calories in it, so it is care. a perfect replacement for any sauce or anything like that. You got to put your chicken. Get the gravy on there. It's miles better. But yeah, the macros and calories for this meal are on the screen right now. We're getting close to adding the total up now, guys. So we finished this meal. I've got a bit of filming to do. I'm actually live tonight, which will be the video that you guys would have watched last night by the time you've watched this one. So yeah, figure that one out in your heads. Uh, and then I think we've got one more snack towards the end of the night to go down, and that's pretty much it. But this probably looks like a more substantial meal. I know chicken always fills me up more than any other meat. It's just one of them you've got to get down. It isn't always the easiest to get down, but it does fill you up, I think, more than anything else. So, yeah, I think this one is probably going to be the one that sort of hits home. Having had the protein shakes earlier on as well, really intrigued to see what the protein count is at the end of the day when we add it all up. But, yeah, we're going to dig into this one, and then I will see you for snack time later after the live stream, which, by the way, you should have watched. If you didn't, then give your head a wobble. And while you're at it, make sure you hit that subscribe button in the bottom right. Right there where my fork is. Yeah? Hi. And <laughs> give the video a like. Because it's a lot of work editing all this, I'm telling you. And having to work around amateurs like this. So, make sure you do. Anyway, I'll see you at evening snack time. Okay guys, that is it. We are done and dusted with the Premier League footballer. For a day, it's done dusted. We finished it, we got all the meals in. I'm at number six right now, and it's a snack, easy snack. Uh, again, a recommendation there was a yogurt, so I knock these things back like they're going out of business anyway because they are brilliant. So yeah, my recommendation uh, for you Aldi shoppers is the uh, protein yogurt. Uh, it's the Brooklyn one. 25 grams of protein in one little pot. That's mental for people who train. For a snack that hasn't got many calories, not a lot of carbs, this is it. Macros for that on the screen right now, people. But that pretty much sums it up. The grand total, in fact, for all the calories in today's, uh, in today's challenge, you could say. It hasn't really been a challenge for me. I found it quite easy, to be honest, because a lot of the foods that Premier League players eat, I usually consume myself with my own training and stuff like that. But interesting to see, and I did ask the question earlier on, if you was watching and paying attention, what the common thing was, the common theme was with all of these meals, every single one of these meals through the day. And I'm feeling reasonably full right now is that nearly every single one of them was very, very low fats. And you'll see that there in the grand total of everything consumed today, the actual, the fat content in everything has been right rock bottom. Low carbs have been average, it's mainly protein based, high, high protein. Recovery, that's all that spells out to me, recovery, recovery, recovery. And their meals are prepped and aimed at that. Performance and recovery, that is what a Premier League footballer's diet is. That's what would happen through every single week and it is all based on what they do in a training session on a pitch and then what happens afterwards and that's where the foods go towards. But guys, that is it for this video. You need to do two things before you leave this video and that is smash that like button and secondly, in the bottom right hand corner there is the subscribe logo. Hit the subscribe button people. Get get notified whenever one of these videos comes up because there's plenty more coming, believe me, and it isn't your run of the mill stuff. And if you didn't watch me live just now, or last night, according to you, if you're watching this right now, then why? Click on that video as well. Link is there. And guys, that is it. We're done and dusted in here. United don't play this weekend, so it's a stress-free weekend as well. So extra bonus, and I'm going to finish off this I wouldn't say delicious, but it is all right. It's not a bad snack. Finish this yogurt, uh, yogurt, and that is it for the video. That is it, done and dusted, guys. It has been, it's been, what I would say, not difficult, like I said before, but interesting, very interesting, because I do find myself 
craving the odd little sweet thing right now and that is always that is always the issue with high protein diets that's what i found anyway and that is the case right now i could murder a dessert right now but all i've got is this yogurt and that is my bit of flavor for the day i'm signing out all that's left for me to do is now fast forward to the morning after and the weigh-in check out the scales but like i said before guys scales aren't everything it's about your measurements it's about things like that i'm not really bothered about the scales to be honest i just wanted to see if it did have any impact uh, in fact i'll just flick straight to that now actually and just see And there we have it people, the day after, and we're back to where we started. The scales do tell you that there has been a drop, quite significant, a few pounds off in the space of a day. That's probably quite normal if you're changing your diet drastically to something like that. There is going to be that sort of big drop straight away. I've seen that before, I've done dieting for 10 and 12 week periods where at start it looks great, it's easy. But then it starts to get more difficult and you do struggle to move weight. And that's why I look at it, I'm not really bothered about the scale. It's all about the look and how I feel. And that's what the point of this video was, just to see how it feels to be eating that sort of food, that diet, that much protein, not a lot of fats, like I said, and how much uh, a Premier League player would intake to get through their working week. And that being all the training, the games, the mental side of things because a, play, a football player has to take in a lot upstairs as well and that food brain food whatever you want to call it it's obviously there to help there is a reason why the nutritionists and the specialists give the players this diet but for me that was probably going to be one of the easiest challenges that i'm ever going to do it wasn't really a challenge because i'm used to that sort of food but just in a different way and it's consumed differently to how I normally take it in terms of the amount of meals, when the meals are consumed and so on and so forth. But I've enjoyed it, it was good, I feel great, absolutely fantastic, slept like an absolute baby last night which is good for me, fresh this morning, still got bundles of energy and ready to go for the next day. So you can imagine continuously eating that, it's healthy, it is filling, it will get you through the day no problem and you know what if it benefits you and your body and gives you a little bit more get up and go then take that away from this video alone if anything but yeah it was fun yeah i did have another laugh and yeah everything that i've done in this video for me was easy but still to consume that every single day in that order would still be a challenge and for one day like i said it is easy to continuously do that under the regime and I know it's a bit easier for players because they have people making their food, it's all set out for them, but if you didn't want to be as healthy and as fit as someone like that, that's the sort of scale you would have to go to. Anyway, people, that wraps up this video. Matic Vlogs is out of here. Thank you for tuning in, people. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give the video a share and a like on the way out. There is more vlogs to come. Stay tuned. And don't forget, we're back tomorrow for the Inter United podcast. It's back on Sunday, finally, with no football on. And the panel will be back and it will be something different again. So, yeah, tune in for that. And again, thank you very much for tuning in and watching this video. For now, it's bye-bye. I will see you in a week, people. Take care. Bye-bye.